We saw that to get cross sections, we need to define a Lorentz invariant phase space for the exit channel. And if we want a total cross section, we need to integrate over the momenta of the final particles. Uh, and sometimes we only integrate over some of them. Um, but in any case, we need to know how to perform uh, this type of integrals. So we will do it in a simple case where we have only two particles in uh, the exit channel, and we consider the collision to occur in the center of mass frame. We will also consider that the collision is symmetric about the collision axis and therefore doesn't depend on the adimital angle, but only on the angle theta. So we will then be looking for a differential cross section d sigma over d theta, or equivalently d sigma over d cos theta. Our first step is to split the energy and momentum conservation conditions, where we use the fact that we are in the center of mass frame. Note that the energies are in fact a function of the Euclidean momenta because uh, the particles are on mass shell. We can use the delta function to kill the integral over dp4 and then replacing p4 uh, by minus p3. We now rewrite the integral uh, using spherical coordinates and the fact that the amplitude does not depend on the azimuthal angle phi. We would like to kill the integral over P3 using the delta function, but the delta function um, depends on quantities which are functions of P3 and not directly on P3. So we need to rearrange this delta function uh, using the useful uh, properties of delta functions, where the x size are the zeros of the function g, and g dash is just its derivative evaluated at the x size. Applying this formula for the delta function for the energies, we get here Q is a zero of this function and therefore corresponds to um, the magnitude of the momentum of the outgoing particles. And of course, this is the same for both particles because we are in the center of mass frame. So, and we have conservation of the momentum. We can also note that because of the conservation of the energy, um, the E3 plus E4 we have here is actually the same thing as E1 plus E2. In other words, the total energy in the center of mass, which is the same before and after the collision due to uh, energy conservation. So we are now able to write the integral over the Lorentz invariant phase space, recalling the expression for the cross section. We get the differential cross section we were looking for. As an exercise, you can verify that uh, when the particles are ultra relativistic, that is when we can set the masses to zero, uh, we get the cross-section in the center of mass. Uh, 